Pepperdine men's basketball team at UC Irvine on Saturday night. Looking ahead into final exams with a win under their belt. They'd be going up against the Big West Conference preseason favorites. Three seven-footers on the Anteaters. Look at seven-foot-six Mamadou Njai. First half highlights. Stacy Davis had a bunch of him. Here's Stacy corner three-pointer. Now Brendan Lane down low. Finds Stacy Davis flashing to the basket. Stacy working down low. Hits the little jumper, gets the roll. Now he's going to sink the jumper from the free throw line. Stacy 18 and 10 tonight. This shot's off. Brendan Lane outdoing the UC Irvine Bigs. Nice little reverse layup. Jet Rain's making an impact in his second game back. Misses this shot, but tips in the second. However, the Waves trailed 40-30 at halftime. It didn't take long for the Waves to come back, however. Second half highlights. Here's Jeremy Major sticking the jumper. Now Malcolm Brooks. He'll be in the left corner. Sinking the three ball. Jeremy Major now hitting the three-pointer. It's now a two-point game, just two and a half minutes into the second half. A little later on, Stacey Davis, 4-3, tying the game at 50. Jed Reigns is going to take this pass, drive in against the 7'6 Njai. First shot doesn't go, second shot does. Tie game under nine minutes to play. Here's Malcolm Brooks, dribbles in, nails the jumper. He's fouled. He'll sink the free throw, putting the Waves up by three. Now Brendan Lane, four and a half minutes left. Little hook shot in the post, Waves up by five. Malcolm Brooks scored 13 of his season-high 16 points in the second half. This jumper puts the Waves up by seven. Two minutes left. Watch Jet Reigns come out of nowhere for the massive tip dunk. Unfortunately, referee waves it off. Waves up by two, 8.2 seconds left. Jeremy Major sinks the first free throw. He'll sink the second free throw. 14 of Jeremy's 18 points in the second half. Two free throws in the final second for Stacey Davis. Pepperdine wins at UC Irvine 75-69, coming back from a 10-point deficit to outscore the Anteaters 45-29 in the second half. Let's hear from head coach Marty Wilson. Yeah, we're fired up. Um, I tell you what, more so with our energy. We talked about that before the game, but the second half, our energy, we're down uh, big in the first half, down 10 in the first half. Uh, our energy, jet reigns, uh, was unbelievable. Um, he, he got his stamina back for him to get five rebounds. Uh, challenged Stacey Davis to, to match their Davis in terms of energy, and he did. Um, he was unbelievable. I thought he could have done more, but uh, he did uh, enough for us to, uh, to pull out a big win. Uh, Malcolm Brooks, Jeremy Major, huge second halves. What do you say about their play? Tell you what, for, for those guys being new guys, feeling comfortable, starting to feel their way and, and see where they can get shots, uh, we need Malcolm to be able to create shots, whether it's getting to the basket, uh, short pull-ups, or shooting deep threes. Uh, and he's starting to feel comfortable with that. And then Jeremy's starting to feel comfortable of, of being able to get to the paint, uh, even more so with him stepping back and shooting threes. That's a, a major bonus for us. A week off now until the next game, final exams ahead. What, what's the plan for this week? Well, giving them off uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, we don't play until next uh, following Sunday. We'll go back to work on Wednesday. A lot of conditioning uh, for this week, a lot of uh, offensive, defensive additions, uh, just so we can continue, continue to get better.